Good evening, dear people, and welcome once again to this week's installment of SIBKL, Prayer Online at 10. You must have had a very busy day, either at work, at home, or at the start of another week, especially with greater easing of the MCO if you are in Malaysia. Yet you continue to join us at 10 p.m. nightly. I thank God for each of you that took time off from the busyness to intentionally put aside part of an hour in prayer devotion, either individually, as a family, or from the many good reports I heard, praying together as cell groups. When we pray, we always end our prayer with, In Jesus' name. Have you ever asked yourself, why do Christians everywhere pray in Jesus' name? Why do you pray in Jesus' name? You may already have prayed several thousand prayers in Jesus' name over decades, or perhaps just fewer times than the fingers on your hand. But isn't that just in the number of prayer? neither in the loudness nor intensity of them. The crux of it lies in the reverence for Jesus through whom prayers are presented. It was also Jesus himself who instructed his disciples many times through the gospel to do so, as in John 14, 13, when he said, I'll do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And in John 15, 16, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Wow! Jesus is so personal because a name in his time as well as today is so important. It is so uniquely you. It speaks of the nature, the character and the identity of the person that bears it. Like the mere mention of Donald Trump conjures up images of a person that you will either respect greatly or reject as an incompetent leader. To be associated with name requires the development of a relationship with the person behind that name. Isn't it true in our culture of name dropping found everywhere? You wouldn't dare mention a name unless you have some relationship with that person. Otherwise, you would be very bold to do so if that person happens to be your good friend or your own family member, right? The stronger the relationship, the closer is your association with the name. The truth is most apparent for you to pray effectively in Jesus' name. So for this week, I hope to share on how we can know Jesus more intimately and pray more effectively through knowing several of Jesus' name. What does it mean to pray in Jesus' name? Firstly, to pray in Jesus' name means to pray in the authority of that name. Jesus' name carries His authority over both the material and spiritual realms. We see that being worked out through the lives of the apostles. Peter said in Acts 3.16, By faith in the name of Jesus, the lame can walk. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through Him that has completely healed Him. Praying in Jesus' name brings about supernatural healing. Just two weekends ago, our church workplace community received an urgent call for prayer for a brother that fell backwards during a game of badminton and hit his head hard against the cement floor. He bled badly, fell unconscious, and was rushed to the hospital for critical care. He was later found to have blood clots in his brain upon scanning. As we prayed fervently in Jesus' name for him, his neurosurgeon decided to delay surgery, hoping that the bleeding in the brain would stop and there would be no lasting brain damage or fits. The bleeding actually stopped and healing happened, praise God. Within two days, his brother was sitting up in bed and posted a Facebook video thanking all that prayed for him. Another scan done last week showed the clots had shrunk significantly and it was discharged from hospital. Amazing, isn't it? Jesus answers our prayers and brought about this amazing recovery. Hallelujah! Divine healing through prayers that happened 2,000 years ago is still happening today. If you need healing and have faith, pray in Jesus' name. Remember, you already have the authority to do so. You can even pray right now, wherever you are. Or you can ask your Christian friend here to pray with you. Otherwise, come to our SIBKL services and we would dearly love to pray online for you. Praying in Jesus' name also brings authority to bear on preaching the gospel fearlessly, casting out demons and ex executing wise judgments. 
Philippians 2.10 summarizes it very well by proclaiming that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Secondly, to pray effectively in Christ's name, we must be in communion with Jesus, identifying with his life and death, connecting and engaging actively with Jesus daily. Remember, having a strong relationship with Jesus puts us in excellent position to invoke his name through prayer. How to have this deeper communion with Jesus? After all, some may say, I've been praying and praying and I just don't hear him answering, let alone be in deeper communion some more. Ah, do you recall in John 10 when Jesus was pestered to answer questions by some Jews at the temple and to reveal more about himself? He responded by saying, My sheep listens to my voice. I know them and they follow me. How do sheep differentiate their own shepherd from other shepherds? It is definitely through knowing their own shepherd by recognizing his voice, his silhouette, or perhaps even his smell. It is in building a strong relationship with Jesus first, and then answered prayers will come, and further revelations follows. It is by prioritizing, going intentionally into a deeper communion with Jesus, then answers to prayer and revelation will flow. Often, we put the cart before the horse and wonder why things do not move. John 20 verse 3 reminds us to seek God through His Word, then believe in Christ will come, followed by you being in communion with Him, having Christ's life within you. It says, but these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing, you may have life in His name. Being with communion with Jesus also means praying regularly for repentance of sins, receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit, being obedient through baptism, staying united, being sanctified and justified, and always giving thanks to God. And what we do and what we say, let it all be unto God and to love one another. Wow, such a long checklist, you will say, to stay in communion with Jesus. How to fulfill, huh? Sure fill one, right? Don't worry. We have an advocate and mediator that will speak on our behalf. Jesus had at least 47 names or references to him throughout the Bible, from mighty God to word of God. Among them is a reference to Jesus as wonderful counselor. In Isaiah 9 verse 6, it says for us, Unto us a child is born, and to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Each of these names carry a special meaning about the nature of God. For tonight, Jesus speaks to us as the Wonderful Counselor. Meaning Jesus is our defense lawyer. For those of us that have failings or brokenness or guilt and shame, Jesus is our wonderful counselor that removes every bit of sin stain from us and replaces our gown with a robe white as snow whenever we approach the throne of God in His name. Jesus is not just any counselor, but also a wonderful counselor because He also takes a personal interest and cares deeply for you and I. Amen. So as we close for tonight, let me encourage you to spend some time after this praying by yourself or with your family or among your cell members. Over the next few nights, we shall also look at the power, the permanence and peace associated with praying in Jesus' name. It would be lovely for you to join us again and we can pray together. But before we close, let me pray for you. Father, I just prayed that there be reverence and love for the Lord Jesus, that as we proclaim His name in prayer, in word, in deed, in love as we go out, Lord. I pray, Father, that each and every one of us from tonight henceforth, Lord, will have a deeper relationship with You, will have a closer communion with You, Lord God. That as we pray, Father, we come into a realization of Your will, which is not only in heaven, but it be done on earth itself, Lord. I pray, Father, 
that as we do so, Lord, when we go out and minister in prayer, in love, Lord, we pray with the authority, the confidence, the conviction, and we remain in communion with Jesus so that, Lord, we ourselves may have a deeper relationship, a deeper communion with Jesus as a wonderful counsellor. Wow, God. I pray too, Father, for those of us out there who may be burdened with a shame or guilt or um, tying down of our walk with you, Lord God, that is an obstacle, a stronghold, Father. I pray, Father, that you will minister to us. For Lord, you are the one, the only mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus who died on the cross for us. That Lord, we need not be ashamed, we need not feel guilty anymore, nor should we feel condemned, Lord, as we come before you. So Father, I pray, Lord, for each and every one of my brother and sister out there. I pray, Father, that as they come before you, that each and every one of their felt needs will be met by you. Lord God, help us to start this week well, Lord. Be there challenges in our life, Lord God. Be there any difficulty that we will meet along the way, Father. Help us to just commit it into your hands, that you will take it, that you mold us and shape us, Lord and even comfort and assure us that you're always there by our side. Father, thank you, Lord. So Father, tonight I just want to pray a blessing on every household that's out there that's listening in, on an individual that's listening in, Father. I pray this blessing over them, Lord, that the love of the Father, that great deep love of the Father, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is sufficient for everything, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, we surround them, maybe with them, Father. Lord, as we are all one in Christ, Father, unite us. Thank you, Lord. I pray this over each and every one of them. In the precious and worthy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you once again for joining us tonight. Good night. Join us again tomorrow. And God bless.